We live in a time in which Islamic State is destroying antiquities that are thousands of years old in Iraq. Why are they doing this? Well, it is Islamic. Earlier they broke into museums and sold valuable treasures for the money and then burned manuscripts. Why? Well, that's Islamic. You may not remember, but when we invaded Iraq and Saddam Hussein fell, the same thing happened. Only this time it was mobs who broke into the museums, stole what was valuable, and destroyed other things. Do you remember when Mubarak fell that one of the things that happened was they broke into the museums in Egypt, took what was valuable, and destroyed other things? Why? Well, it is Islamic. Do you remember when in the Taliban brought in artillery guns to blow down the Bamyan Buddhas, which were huge statues that were thousands of years old? Pure Islam. When the Muslims invaded India, they came upon the largest Hindu temple in the world that was wooden. The commander was told this, so he said, well, let me see it. He looked at it, walked around, and says, burn it. Pure Islam. Then they invaded the Buddhist part of India, and in Nalanda was the world's largest library. When told that it was the largest library, the commander said, well, either the books contain what is in the Quran, in which case they're not useful, it's redundant, or if the information is not in the Quran, then it is Jahiliya, and we will burn that too. So the library was burned. Now what is Jahiliya? Well, Jahiliya is the age of ignorance. It is the age of the Kafir, and Allah despises the Kafir and despises his civilization which is all based on ignorance. The taproot of all of this is, of course, Muhammad. When Muhammad entered Mecca as its conqueror, he first prayed, issued death warrants for those intellectuals and artists who had opposed him, and then he went into the Kaaba and it contained religious art from some 360 different religions. He destroyed it with his own hand, and what he did not destroy, he commanded to be destroyed by his men. You see, this was to strike a blow against the civilization of the Kafir, because again, Allah hates the Kafir and hates his civilization, which he calls Jahiliya, ignorance. So this will not be the last destruction we'll see, because as Islam enters every new territory, it is purpose is to destroy the civilization, not just take over the government, but to annihilate the civilization. And by destroying what a heritage of civilizations, it helps to destroy those civilizations. That's what's going on under Islamic State. Now, the only thing that the news media will say about this destruction is it's not Islamic. But again, the media knows nothing. It is pure Islam to destroy culture, heritage, antiquities, and art. Think about that. Thank you.